everybody, and welcome to our weekly session of St. Luke's Little Church. I'm Pauline. This is Grace. We're happy to have you in our home, and we're so honoured to be in yours. So this week, we celebrate the 21st Sunday of Ordinary Time in Year B. So let's, before we start, say our prayers, thanking God for all the blessings that we have. So let's sit quietly. If you want to call mum and dad in, if you want to bring your brother or your sister, if you just want to sit on your own, that's fine too. Hands together and we're ready to go. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. We thank you for all our blessings. We thank you for all our blessings. Thank you for my mum and my dad. Thank you for my mum and my dad. For my family. My family. For all my friends. For all my friends. Thank you for keeping us safe. Thank you for keeping us safe. And always listening to us. And always listening to us. Please pray for. Please pray for. All the children that are preparing for their Holy First Communion. For all the children who are preparing for their First Holy Communion. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Great. Thank you for joining us again today. We always start with our song, and I know by now you should know this song, the song that we sing every week, the one that tells us to listen to God's word. So we're going to get ready. We're going to sing it nice and loud before we move into this week's gospel. Let's go. All right. Ready, guys? Let's do it together. Listen, listen to God's word. God is speaking. He is near. Alleluia, sing his praise. Alleluia, hearts we raise. Fill us, fill us with your love. Send your spirit from above. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to go into this week's gospel. But before we do that, we're going to do a bit of a refresher about what we talked about last time. So you have to remember before we read that Jesus said this, I am the bread of life. Anyone who comes to me will never go hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. So this week, the reading comes from the Holy Gospel according to John. So after hearing this, after what I did, what I just reminded you of, after hearing what Jesus had said in the synagogue, Many of his followers refused to believe what they had heard. When Jesus heard them arguing, he said to them, it is not the body but the spirit which gives life. Then he said, many will not believe that I am the way to eternal life. I know that my heavenly father has revealed this to only a few. After this, some of his followers left him and kept his company no more. Jesus turned to the 12 he had chosen and asked, will you leave me too? Then Simon Peter stepped forward and said, Master, who would we turn to? We believe in your message of eternal life because we know that you are the Son of God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the people had become upset because Jesus had said, I am the bread of life. They didn't like that very much. And so a lot of them left. They said, we're not following you anymore. We don't like what you're saying. So Jesus turned to his disciples and said, will you leave me too? And Simon Peter said, no, no, Jesus, we won't leave you. What do we do without you? Where do we go? We would be lost without you. So I wonder then, let's have a little bit of a chat, Grace. I wonder, what was it that Jesus said to upset the followers? He said that he's the bread of life. He said he's the bread of life. I don't think that would have upset me. But they mustn't have understood, and so it made them upset, maybe even scared, and they left. How do you think Jesus felt when they all started to leave him? Um, upset, sad disappointed and worried. I think he would have felt all those things as well. Absolutely. When he asked his apostles if they would stay with him, what do you what did they say? They said yes and they won't they said yes and they said that they won't leave him and they'll follow him forever. They said they would not leave him. 
Who was it? Which apostle was the one that spoke to Jesus and said, no way, we can never leave you? Simon Peter. Simon Peter. And I think that's how we have to remember. Sometimes when things are a little bit tough or Jesus says things we don't quite understand or we're not sure of, that's when we need to say, I trust you. I trust you and I believe you and I know that you will always show me the way. And without you in my life, I really don't have anything. Now, we've got a little treat this week. We don't have any craft. You know, normally we do our craft. We're going to try something different this week. This week we're going to sing a song. Now, some of you may already know this song. Father loves it. I love it. A lot of us love it. And it's a song of praise to Jesus, to God, and the Holy Spirit. You may have heard Father sing it when we're doing adoration, when he brings out the monstrous and he puts it up on the altar and we just sit in meditation. And the song is, Father, I adore you. So we start off with, Father, Jesus, I adore you. Lay my life before you, how I love you. Then we move on to Father. Father, I adore you. Lay my life before you, how I love you. And we finish with, Spirit, I adore you. Lay my life before you, how I love you. But the way we're going to do it here. We're going to watch a little video and I want you to follow through at home. We're going to use our hands to tell the story and that's called signing. Some people who have difficulty hearing or who can't hear at all or difficulty speaking might use their hands to talk. And we're going to watch these, this lady, and I think it's her daughter, singing this beautiful hymn, this beautiful praise to our Lord, and they're going to sign using their hands. So it'd be great if you practiced it. It doesn't matter if you don't get it right this week. Practice it at home. We're going to keep trying it until we can do it without having to watch them. So are we ready? Let's give it a go. to follow that through. I absolutely love that hymn in praise to our Lord. So if you can practice it, just keep it following it. If you want to look it up on YouTube, you can follow that way too. And hopefully as the weeks go on, we will get better and better at singing those praises to God. And maybe if you see Father, you can show him. Okay, that brings us to the end of our session this week. We hope you've enjoyed it. We always do. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Let's finish off with our Apostles' Creed and then we'll say goodbye. You ready? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day and rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Stay safe, keep praying, and we look forward to seeing you next week. See you later. Bye.